you're about to create a blog, a website with WordPress, and you're planning to have lots of traffic? In this case, shared hosting is not what you need. In this video, I show you step by step how to install WordPress in DigitalOcean. I will also share with you in the description of this video a link to have a credit of $100 to test this platform for free. So stay tuned and follow with me. Hi everybody, I am Mohamed from Smart Digi Web. I am happy to be with you in this video. Before to start, please subscribe to get any update. The first thing to do is to visit the DigitalOcean website. To do this, just click on the link below in the description of this video. Thanks to this link, you will get $100 to experiment the platform for free for 60 days. However, please notice that the link is only valid for new registrations. Once you are on the website, create a new account or sign in with your Gmail account. Click on Let's make something. Here you have some shortcuts to create Node.js server, WordPress website, and so on. Just skip this and go to Control Panel. Then click on a new project. Enter a name, description, and select the purpose. Then click Create project. We won't be moving any resources at this time, just skip this. Great, our project is now ready. Now click on Start with Droplet, which is for DigitalOcean, a kind of a virtual machine. Then go to the Market tab. First, select WordPress. Then choose a plan. Here I choose the basic plan, which costs $5 per month. Here you have the characteristics of this plan related to processor, hard drive, data transfer, and so on. Then choose the data center for your droplet. Choose a region close to the location of your potential visitors. For authentication, you have two options, SSHK or password. I choose password. Then you can either enter a password here or leave this field blank and you will receive an email with the generated password. For me, I prefer to enter the password. Finally, scroll down and click on Create a Droplet. Well done, the droplet is now created. Now click here on its name and copy its associated IP address. I will use it to link my domain name to this droplet. The domain name I will use in this video is registered with Nameship. I only use it for testing since it contains the WordPress keyword. Click on Manage. Then in the Name Servers section, choose Nameship Basic DNS. Then check here to confirm your choice. Then go to the Advanced DNS. Now we will add these two A records to point this domain name to the IP address of our droplet. Once it's done, return to the DigitalOcean platform and click on Console. Enter root as login and click on the Enter key on your keyboard. Then pass the password and click again on the Enter key on your keyboard. By the way, the password is taken into account even if it doesn't not appear. As stated previously, if you did not enter a password when creating the droplet, you should have received an email with the default password and you will be prompted to change it at this step. Well, this is a script created by DigitalOcean to simplify the installation of WordPress and SSL. So first I enter my domain name, then I enter my email. Then here I enter the username that I will use to access the admin side of WordPress. Then I enter here the administrator password. Then I enter the website title. Here I enter why to confirm the information entered before. Here we are asked if we want to use uh, Let's Encrypt to install SSL certification. Yes, I do. So I answer why. Here I enter an email to receive renewal and security notifications. 
Here I enter A to accept the terms of use. Here they ask me if he, I want to share my email with the partners. No, I do not uh, prefer. Well, now they ask me if I want to enable HTTPS on both uh, the root domain name and the www subdomain or only one of them. So I just leave this uh, field empty since I want to activate it on both. Here I enter to to redirect all requests to HTTPS. Congratulations! WordPress with the SSL certification is now installed. Let's check that everything is working well. I enter my domain name in this web browser. Great! The website is up. The same goes for SSL certification. Let's log in now to the administrator side. Enter the login and the password. Perfect, everything is working as expected. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I will do my best to answer them. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you soon in another video. Goodbye.